Oh, those golden grams. Oh, those golden grams. Crispy, crunchy grams. Cereal family breakfast treat. Did, oh, wait. Sorry. I <laughs> In the intermission, I was eating, eating golden grams. Anyways, on with the show. Last episode, I took the shotgun off that, and those things went up. So, let's... I don't know what it means, but uh, I don't think it can be good. Good. Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! She's on the ground. I can just stand back. Grab my hand! <sighs> here we're almost at Jill's sandwich. was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? <laughs> Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Good point. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. She just did. What a great guy. A trophy. <laughs> Get a trophy for being saved by Barry. That's awesome. Right, let's go quickly into this. Please. instruction for disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to cease the resurrection. One, incineration. Two, destruction of the head. If other methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, well has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You will need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. Mm, that can't possibly be a good thing. Relaxing. 
really makes me not want to leave this place. Well. Fuel canteen, yes please. And I shall fill it up with kerosene. Yay. Let's stick that back in here. you Larry. Now. Come on. Now I call you Headless Larry. I wasted two shots of my shotgun. bullets left. here first because there are a couple important things in here I have to grab dog whistle today Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it well I had this idea I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here no one would be able to get near it as far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can gear, get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means you, and only you, can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. Here we go. I thought there was a gun bullet there. And the lighter. Very nice. Isn't there supposed to be some sort of a journal or something? I wonder if there's a trophy that you can get by getting all the information in here. Is it through here? 
a... Don't hear any zombies, but... Sounds gonna be deceiving. Huh, guess not. Armor key. Got it. So I want to keep this hallway secured because it is going to be very invaluable to me later on. Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. That's always good. Look split what up. I found. You've learned what? the Scooby-Doo method of a can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully, you won't have to use it. It's really powerful, especially against living things. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Ciao? Where are you living? South America? Can of foods. No offense, Barry, but I don't want your fizz. this dog whistle just yet because I think I'm just about out of time so this is Kauri saying uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice rest of your day and we'll see you next time <laughs>